So one of my favorite times of the year, April Fool's is upon us. Chris Hogan, Chris Brown, and I were being interviewed by Forbes. So I decided to pull in some of our team to help me out. So Elizabeth Cole is one of our publicists. And so she set up the interview with Forbes that we are doing. And Dave DeChico is actually a video director at our office, but he is playing the role as interviewer. Mr. Steve Rollins. Steve Rollins from Forbes. Whatever that is. Yes, and so he's gonna be on the phone um, and so disguise his voice so they won't know that it's him. No, Hogan's got glasses. Green glasses. I don't know, but Christine's freaking awesome. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Yes, this is Steve. Hope I speak to Rachel. Hey, yes, Rachel Cruz here. Good to talk to you. Hey, Good Steve. Good to talk to you. This hey, is Chris, how's Chris, it going? Chris Brown and Chris Hogan here, too. Great, great. You guys are making it easy for me. Chris and Rachel. <laughs> yes. I know, right? You can you can hear my voice. <laughs> good, good. Well, guys, listen. Thanks so much for taking time uh, to to talk this morning. I'm super excited about this interview. Obviously, it's it's very rare to get three financial experts in the same interview who focus on three different topics. Let's just get started then. I'll kind of popcorn around a little bit, but let me start with you, uh, Chris Hogan. And how do you feel about Trump testing out new fiduciary health uh, healthcare costs that they're rolling out in the 15 states? Do you think they're going to roll this out nationally, and what does that mean for the average American family? Well, you know, I would say that right now they are in test mode. Uh, and as far as the test for that, uh, I would see them testing it. The results, I have no idea. I can't predict that. Do you think it's right to target the 15 states that they did versus kind of doing a soft rollout um, nationwide? That I don't, I'm not privileged to that information, so I couldn't answer that. But I think a test is always wise before you roll out anything broadband. Okay. Okay. Rachel, uh, the new 412C tax code is changing, um, and that means investors are going to have more ways to liquidate their assets. Uh, what's your opinion on that? The 402C? Uh, uh, 412C. You know, with, with any kind of tax code, and we're kind of in the middle of tax season right now, everyone's filing or they're trying to to get their taxes in order for, for April coming up. It is something that my husband and I personally took advantage of this year. You know, I just read in the Wall Street Journal last month that they implemented this, and I think that it's key for families to look into gotcha. it. Gotcha, gotcha. And kind of keeping in that thread, um, Chris Brown, I got one for you. Let me clarify that when you give to a 501c3, a nonprofit, uh, you get a tax write-off. Is that correct? That is correct. Just kind of a follow-up with that. In recent years, it's been discussed to eliminate that tax deduction. Do you think it's finally time to implement the uh, 5013E? Well, for me, I don't, I mean, when it comes to all the logistics, when it comes to all the different things that you have to weigh out to make a big governmental decision like that, that definitely is not one of my expertise. But I think that true generosity is not concerned with a tax deduction. It's more of a matter of the heart. Gotcha. That's good. Chris Hogan, do you think it's smart that, that we've actually instated this safe harbor ratio? Uh, as far as smart, I, it's probably above my pay grade. Uh, you know, walking through and, and looking at that, understanding all the nuances, that's not something I'm definitely, I'm not, you know, deeply seeped in. Uh, but I think anytime you're starting to walk through and you're understanding the impact on someone's financial future, putting ourselves in a position to empower us more and giving the government less power is something I'll always be in favor of. Absolutely, yeah. I can align with that thinking. Rachel, uh, just kind of wrapping this up, I got just a few quick questions. Um, so for people looking to, to get a little deeper with their finances, what do you think about judicial wage securities? Judicial wage, well, anytime I hear those two words together, my, my antenna goes up, my red flag goes up. So I'd say stay away from those. Gotcha. Chris Brown, I think last one for you. With divorce rates on the rise, uh, unfortunately, do you think it's smart for couples to do a joint liability return test? Um, I am for unity. I really am. I am for unity, and we go. We may have lost him. Steve, Whew. those were tough. Do you know what some of that stuff is, Hogan? The judicial wait. No, I've not heard of that one. Okay, well, I remember Dave talking about that just a few weeks ago. That's the only reason I would have known that, Steve. Yes, guys. Oh, sorry. I, I think so we sorry. lost you. Okay, guys. I just have one last question. How mad are you at Rachel that she just pulled an April Fool's joke on you? <laughs> 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 she thinks she's funny. She thinks she's funny. Y'all are pros. 
knows? <laughs> Y'all are even skipping beat on these made up financial terms. <laughs> Can you just elaborate on the safe harbor ratio one more time? <laughs> That that you know what the safe harbor act the obviously safe you know a real thing. that's a real thing the ratio no the clue ra- <laughs> no clue that's why go so to an investment like professional he really knows what a safe harbor is yes. so I was which is how business is done but the ratio no clue <laughs> none so whatsoever we'll just we'll just get that joint liability return test uh, <laughs> you know, I am so mad you. at her right now. <laughs> I am so mad. Pretty good. Well, thank oh, you. Oh, y'all. Yeah, you. Y'all Very right. well done. Pleasures all over. We support I, you all the way. I, I hope you feel good. <laughs> yes. I hope you got a chuckle. Are y'all good at sleeping with one eye open? I'm good at you that. Should. Y'all are good sports. <laughs> Oh Y'all are gosh. good sports. We gotta hear. Yeah, we have to hear the audio. I gotta take another shower. Sweat. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have a nightmare about divorce liability tonight. <laughs> oh, oh DD. Oh, oh Dee-Dee. y'all. Yes. Happy Dee-Dee. April Fool's. Double dip. Y'all are oh. y'all are true. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out this other great video.